the life of a recruiter right now. It is very different than it was a year ago. Recruiters are getting slammed in every direction. Okay. People are trying to find them. People are trying to get at them like they're like rock stars. And that feels pretty overwhelming. But on top of that, recruiters are losing their jobs at an alarming rate. You may not realize that, but the recruiting industry is getting decimated because of AI and automation. Lots and lots of people in the recruiting space are losing their jobs. So recruiters are very scared and stressed out. They're burnt out because they're you know, posting and having a thousand applicants to look through and then all of these phone screens to do. But on top of that, in order for them to keep their jobs, they have to be perfect. They have to find the exact right perfect candidate for the job so that the hiring manager thinks they're doing their job. In the past, when there wasn't enough talent, a recruiter was rewarded if they brought somebody with even half the skills that could do the job. But today, the only way a recruiter is going to be seen as doing their job, forget being rewarded, doing their job, keeping their job, is if they bring somebody who is an exact match in every way. So yeah, recruiters get on the call and they're burnt out. They're trying to save their own jobs. And so they are leading the dance. And I think that's something people have to understand. And I also think it can go a long way in a, a rec an interview with a recruiter to acknowledge that. You know, some point in the conversation, it's okay to say to the recruiter, I can only imagine how hard it is right now to recruit for this job. You know, you, there's so many candidates and so many people to sift through. You know, it's got to be really hard. It's got to be a lot of work. And they're going to say, yeah, you and like for you to acknowledge that as the candidate. Because most candidates get on and start like, they want to answer all the questions. They want to ask all these questions. They kind of treat the recruiter like, you know, I just got to get past you to get to the hiring manager. And that vibe, they can feel that vibe. They can pick that vibe up. So my advice to you is to focus on them and say, you know, what are you looking for in a candidate? I can only imagine how hard your job is right now to sort through all these people, to sort through a bunch of AI resumes versus somebody who's real and try to find the right candidate. It cannot be easy to be a recruiter right now. Say that to them. And then with that, you can say, based on that, what are you looking for in a candidate? Who, who do you think is really going to get through that? What do you need? And so that's you addressing their needs as the recruiter and being respectful of the situation they're in. And I'll tell you, that'll go a long way in opening up the dialogue with you and the recruiter. But the other thing I'll tell you is they can smell desperation a mile away. So if you're trying too hard in the interview, you're being too aggressive, it just, it, it lands and they can feel it. And that's why I think coming from a place of caring and understanding just how exhausted and tired and scared they are for their own jobs and respecting that and acknowledging it quite politely the way I just did will help change the dynamic between you and them. And then when they feel more relaxed with you, then you're going to feel more relaxed and you're going to answer the questions better and it's going to be a better match. So focus on the relationship with the recruiter. Put yourself in their shoes. Have a lot more empathy for what they're going through, okay?